Cock News tonight with two national championships under her belt. Coach Dawn Staley is ready to take her team to yet another March Madness. But before the big dance, I got a chance to sit down with the woman that they call the GOAT, the greatest of all times, to talk about how she's changed the face of women's basketball. She's brought home two national titles for the Gamecocks. She's the SEC Coach of the Year, again, and a three-time Naismith College Coach of the Year winner, and an Olympic gold medalist. But one thing Don Staley still is, is humble. I'm, I'm just grateful. Grateful that people want to spend their time and their money um, to come to Colonial Life Arena for two hours and just dive into our team. Nothing else matters besides what's happening in and, in and around the arena. In a sport that used to have a hard time filling the seats, Staley and her staff have created a program that is the envy of the nation. In fact, in her undefeated season this year, they sold out Colonial Life Arena five times. So how did she do it? I would say we mom and pop it. We pound the pavements. We made ourselves accessible to Anybody, like any, any of our fans can walk up to our office, knock on the door, come in, chill out. And sometimes they do. They come in and sit for hours. <laughs> and we, we just walk by, hey. Like, Y'all don't have a bouncer? Not, There's not somebody here that no, will keep no, out? I mean, it is those side. We give them access to our team. We have open practices. Um, they can ask me anything. Staley isn't just known for her connection with her fans. Her players are her babies and the relationship doesn't end when the players walk the stage at graduation. If you follow um, Asia Wilson and you on Twitter, it's hilarious. Y'all are always back and forth. Um, at, what's it been like to watch all of your babies grow and be the biggest names in the WNBA now? I mean, I, I sit back and I'm, I'm really just proud. Like, I never birthed a child, but I, I've come close to having so many current and former players I know what a mother's love feels like. I know what a, a mother's pride feels like. I know what it feels like to see a young person succeed. Staley has fought for her players too. As a college athlete herself, Staley pushed for the NCAA to adopt the name image likeness rule, allowing athletes to make money off their names with sponsorships or endorsements. So you and I were at an event together a million, I don't know, it feels like a million years ago. I don't know what it was. And you told me that when you went to college, some of the girls on your team, they would go out to movies and dinners and that you didn't have the money always to go. Now we have name image likeness. How have you seen that change things for some players? First of all, I didn't have the money. And second of all, I wasn't interested in going out <laughs> at all. Like, that's you won't go I'm the same way no right now. What? I'm the same way. I'm a homebody champ and I like, we like, we like to spend our time at home. But if you look at the billions of dollars that are being made from college athletics, people are, are benefiting. Who's benefiting? Universities are benefiting, colleges are benefiting. So um, I, I think there are ways in which we can provide a way that every student athlete can benefit from being in this space. And that's why we take a lot of time to help our players build their brands. And as she speaks about building her players' legacies, her own is about to be immortalized with a statue right across from the state house. As a black woman, as somebody that brought passion for women's basketball to the entire state, what did that feel like? And I know it's not something you courted. I mean, I was really taken back. Like, I, 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 I wanted Asia Wilson to have the only statue. Like, she deserved. <laughs> I did really. Like, I, I, I'm, I was living through her. Right. Because it's something that doesn't happen very often, and. It doesn't very, happen very often to a young person. For what my statue would stand for, I, I can stand behind because it is giving women an opportunity to be presented in the way um, of having a statue because not very many women are bestowed this honor. And as far as what the statue looks like, Coach says, relax, people. That was just a mold. And I just don't, I, I know it was an uproar because it was an uproar about how it looked. So let it, let the artists finish up, you know, what they're doing. And then I think people will be proud of the, the finished product. As we look ahead to another trip to the big dance, we've got to know, does the goat get nervous? I don't, I don't really get nervous. Um, I do get a little butterflies. Big games, I get a little butterflies. I'm probably all, all games because I, 
you know, there's a little part of me that really can't control that part of it. Like you really, as a coach, you can prep, you know, you can prep throughout the week. And then on game day, it's really the players that have to execute what we, what we, what our preparation is. I'll tell you what, Coach Daly is nothing but genuine. And you can watch my entire interview with Dawn Staley on WLTX.com. And then, of course, catch all the March Madness action right here on WLTX.